what to do. Get symbolic, Moltar. <laughs> What you call this kind of box? Is it just a drinks walk-in? You no, know, the walk-in is like the suffix. Whatever's in it comes before walk-in. So this is the this is the energy drinks and soda walk-in right here. And it's not doing anything. It's not cool. And it's fans are blowing. That's all we got. Condensing units not doing anything. Right as I took the cover off, I heard the solenoid valve open and the pressure started up. Yeah, it wasn't doing anything because it was in defrost. Might as well put it back in defrost then. This is all oily. We'll go right up to here. Check this out. Can you see that? You can actually see the refrigerant spraying out. Yeah, it needs a new headmaster valve. There's the headmaster removed. There's the headmaster. Filter dryer's removed too. There's our nice, pretty new headmaster valve and filter dryer installed. Now to pull a vacuum. So how do we do that? I got these gauges open. The yellow hose closed off. Come over here. Pull this wire off of this contact right here. Disable it so the compressor won't run. And turn on the disconnect. You hear that solenoid valve energized just then? I come down here for our convenient, not on the roof service port, and hook up the vacuum pump. I got the unit put back together and I got my refrigerant cylinder up here just waiting to let the gas in. Pull that side shut off. I can close this one off. Now I just let it rip. See? Now I can hook the contactor back up. The solar valve is upstream of the tank, so check this out. Put it in defrost. Now the liquid from the tank is going straight down the liquid line into the evaporators and then into the compressor. Close that valve off. This system has an incredibly high heat load on it right now. It's about 90 degrees down in that walk-in cooler. <laughs> 